ஒருவர் on the theory of darwin and now we are going through that theory and i may uh, submit one thing that darwin's theory is not the same as we when he presented it now it so many changes have taken place to darwin's theory that what we are discussing today is basically not the darwin's theory but it is the development further development of darwin's theory of evolution uh i have to start from today's uh, lecture i may should tell you that what is the main thing which we'll be discussing it is this ayat and in this fokaha about the mosquito but in order to give a perspective i'll start from natural selection so that we understand that how these things uh, are progressing i will not go into detail i'm just be recalling certain points from the last lecture so that we uh, we recapitulate and we uh, are connected natural selection in the process of natural selection uh, better species are selected i'm using the word species as we use it generally not in technical sense that also i will uh, i will show that uh, species is a has a specific meaning and those who can survive who can compete who can further develop those things are selected and then organisms gradually evolve it's not overnight this process takes millions of years it has taken millions of years and in natural selection organisms with genetic variations that suit their environment in that environment it's not somebody is is created on mars and he is planted on earth somebody is created on moon and he is planted on earth it's not that way the evolution theory of evolution tells us and it has been seen that the things develop things grow things adapt in an environment and they adapt to the environment and these genetic and variations take place in an environment and diverse groups of animals evolve from one or a few common ancestors this is further development uh, over the theory of uh, darwin that is not just from one but there may be more contributors as ancestors it's not just one ancestor for example now the theory says that it is not a linear evolution it is a wave like evolution for example orangutans neanderthals homo sapiens homo erectus homo habilis hominid they were all interbreeding and in that interbreeding process because within the species they can interbreed within that process of interbreeding the genetic variation and development progress uh, betterment was taking place this mechanism of evolution is called natural selection all these things are included in this process of natural selection darwin's main principles of natural selections were just uh, i mean points uh, in order for the process to occur most characteristics in the population must be inherited the qualities the characteristics are inherited from one person to the other from one species to the other more offspring must be produced than can survive that population will survive which can produce more more than the death rate for example we see that the population growth rate is more than the death rate this has always remained 
there so far as the nature is concerned. But because of uh, certain things happening, wars taking place, catastrophes, and many other things taking place, the nature has taken allowance for that also. And the evolution says that the production, reproduction must be much more than the death rate. Uh, it has been since uh, millions of years that male population, boys, male children, they are born more, more than the female children, more than the girls, because male population dies more. And at the end also we see at the end of the demography, I mean, uh, graph that more women survive and more men die at the old age also. Right from the beginning, there is a greater uh, rate of death of children when they are born in infancy and then in the childhood. And throughout, there is a much more uh, uh, higher ratio of uh, male people, uh, men uh, um, and dying. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that I make the selection. He makes the selection of each and every individual when it is being fabricated in the womb, that whether it will be a child, girl, or it will be a child, boy, it will be male or it will be female. In the story of Hazrat Maryam, when her mother, Maryam's mother is uh, talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, making a dua, at that time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains to her that I make the selection. I know the difference between the uh, male and female. I make this difference. I know this. This is my science. I select this. And then fittest of his spring survive. And they must have the capacity to reproduce also. Not only survive, but to reproduce. These are the main points. And then this as a concept, biological species concept, this is called biological species concept. How it works? A species it is called text, uh, or in other words, it's called text, uh, taxonomy. A species or a taxon, taxon, scientifically classified group or entity is called taxonomic unit. What is a taxon? Taxon is a group, a uh, group of taxonomic entity. It is a group or entity of taxonomic unit. It is a group of organisms that can successfully inbreed. What is a taxon? It is a group of organisms that can successfully interbreed. They can breed among themselves. This is called a taxon and produce fertile offspring, not infertile. Fertile offspring must be fertile. A species integrity is maintained by interbreeding. Now, this is the theory which has developed. They must be able to interbreed. The Homo erectus were able to interbreed with Homo sapiens. That is how these changes have taken place and ultimately uh, Homo sapiens was uh, further improved. Within a species as well as by reproductive barriers, this is also very important that there are reproductive barriers that, for example, once human species, we are talking of species, human species is created, within that there can be homo erectus, within that there can be homo habilis, but there is a barrier that it cannot go back as ape, it cannot go back as chimpanzee, although Allah has power. At one place we find in Quran that he told the Jews that we apes, when they were uh, uh, not following the law, they had become zalim. They were misbehaving. And they, this is the uh, this is what the Quran tells us, tells there. So he has the power to do anything. But so far as the scientific process is concerned, the species once produced, it has to make uh, uh, progress, development, improvement, variation 
within that species and it cannot go back. This is called a reproductive barrier. Barrier between organisms and different species. For example, today, human being cannot interbreed with elephants. Elephants cannot interbreed with horses, for example. So there are there is a barrier. And last time I had referred to Dr. Muniz, a book who has explained this. He was the chairman of Atomic Energy Commission of Pakistan. Now, this brings us taxonomy, taxonomy groups. Now, this brings to this ayat. Do we find any clue or any pointation in this ayat? Ayat number 26 of Surah Al-Baqarah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that I, when I give a, an example, for example, mosquito, it is not a small example. And I don't hesitate in giving examples about mosquito. So here it points out to another thing which we, we have now mentioned that there, there are groups. There is a whole taxonomy. It's a whole science within the, uh, the, within the studies pertaining to evolution. Evolution is not just one study, not one science. It is a conglomerate. It is a group of sciences which are now together called uh, and which they contribute to the theory of evolution. What is that? Folk, what is above mosquito? We'll see that. What is below mosquito? What is above and what is above that? Mosquitoes belong to the family. And then that family, these are names which are given here, and that family belongs to an order. And that order belongs to a class. And that belong, class belongs to a phylum. So what is about mosquito? Mosquito belongs to a family. And the family, above the family, there is an order, folk. And above order, folk is a class. And above class, there is a phylum. This is the ladder. So what is above the family of, uh, of mosquito? All these things are above the family of uh, mosquito. We'll see that, how. And this is a reference. This subject is called taxonomy. And that is very important subject within the theory of uh, evolution. If somebody has to reject the theory of evolution, he will have to reject everything. And we are, I'm going to point out. So what is taxonomy? I'll explain this and we, I'll show you the, the figures. Taxonomy is a classification of organisms in ordered system. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created an ordered system right from the first living cell which is created. Like from first from, for example, first, uh, right, first right from amoeba, bacteria, fungi, algae, and developing, uh, growing into more complex entities and ultimately becoming, coming to the stage of human being. It is an ordered system. We have to deny. If we want to deny, then we have to deny this ordered system, which is folk, for example, for example, folk above the mosquito, Baudatan, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in that ayat. That indicates natural relationships, biological relationships, physiological relationships, anatomical relationships, environmental relationships, sociological relations, social relationships, sociological relationships, genetic relationships. We'll have to deny everything then if we deny this theory. Natural relationships. Now, this is taxonomy. As I said, when we are talking of mosquito, that ayat, Baudatan, Mosquito belongs here, for example, in this family. I mentioned the name of the family. Now, that family belongs to this order. It has a different name. I had shown that. Now, that order belongs to this class. It has a different name. I had shown that. And that belongs to this phylum. I had shown those, those names also. In this letter, 
and that is belongs to the kingdom. This is called kingdom, life kingdom. So, uh, and that belongs to the domain, and domain belongs to the life. It is a whole ladder. When the life is started, it first created the domain. From the domain, it developed, uh, de developed kingdom. In the kingdom, developed the phylum. Then came the class. Then they have classified as an order. Then further family. Then for, further genus. And now we human beings, we belong to a species. This is our, uh, I mean, uh, uh, in this uh, graph, we belong to this ladder, a species. When we are talking about human beings, we are talking about human species of human beings. Now, why we are starting from life. What is life? Life distinguishes animals and plants from inorganic matter, turabin. Halakal insana min turabin. The process of its creation of life started from the inorganic material, turabin. And at one place, Quran tells that these kufar, when they will be punished, at that time they will desire that they were not, they had no life. They were kosh turabin. They will wish that they would be, they, they should have been turabin, in, uh, inorganic material. So everything has been created in the physical form from the inorganic material that is molecules, atoms, and then going back to particles, subparticles. This is inorganic material. And then it was converted into, this tura was converted into teen. That is, then the biotic evolution takes place, it starts. And that is from where the life is started. So life is started from inorganic material, and it is different from the inorganic material. In what respects? Including capacity for growth. It has the capacity to grow. For example, the zygote in the womb grows. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at, at the medical stage has shown, tell, has, to, has uh, explained to us, has uh, uh, given us to understand that how it becomes uh, flesh, how it becomes bones, how they are joined together and how a baby is formed, how the baby is born. Then it has the capacity to reproduce. The bio, one of the most important things of uh, biotic evolution is that once the life is created, the life has the power to sustain itself. When an animal is created, it is not only it has the power to grow, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given it to uh, given us given has the uh, has given the power of reproduction. They can reproduce, produce an offspring, walad. And it has functional activity. This is living, which is manifest, which is shown in certain activities. They eat. Metabolism takes place. This is the indication of life. They excrete, they breathe, they move, they grow, they reproduce, and they respond to the external stimuli. They respond to the external stimuli. And continual changes preceding death. Right from the beginning till the death, continuously changes are taking place. Continuously. Changes are taking place till the death comes. Man or any animal or any living thing is not static. It is continuously changing. Skin is changing. And they have a time period. The regularly, periodically, regularly on that, within that period, entire skin of the body is changing. Entire entrails are changing. Entire composition, material, material of the kidney, liver, they are all changing. So everything is changing in a living thing. 
till the death comes. And after that, it, the decay takes place, the, the degeneration takes place, and they disintegrate. And they mix up with the earth. Now, domain, I have shown here, in this life, and then in the domain. Now, I'll explain this, not explain, but just again mention this order, what this order is. <laughs> domain is the highest taxonomic rank in hierarchical, biological classification of the system above the kingdom level. Folk, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that I don't hesitate in mentioning to you my creations above the mosquito, above anything, above human being. There are three domains of life, for example. I'll show this. When we are talking about life, we have come to under the life is domain. So then there are three domains of life. Life has developed, biotic evolution is taking place in from these three domains, plural, domains of life. Archaea, bacteria, and eukarya. This is the presentation, a graph. Phylogenetic tree of life. This is these three. The three con constitute the domain of life. Within this domain, these are bacteria, these are archaea, these are eukarya, uh, eukarya. This and this domain has further developed everything. Now, domain in biology, after that comes kingdom. Kingdom is the second highest taxonomic rank. Just below domain, just below the do domain, and kingdoms are divided into smaller groups called phyla. I've shown you that phylum. Then I'm not going to showing each and every chart. Like this chart of uh, uh, domain, then there's a chart of kingdom which shows us phyla, and that is called phylum, collectively one word, phyla. The hierarchy of biological classifications, eight major taxonomic ranks which I have shown, and these are references. Phylum, plural phyla, ranks below kingdom, I have mentioned that. Now, after the kingdom comes the class. I'm not showing those charts here. Class is a taxonomic rank, a taxon consisting of organisms that share common attribute. Now, in the class, there's one thing important that one, entity, uh, one item is has certain similarities and they share certain common attributes of the other entity. And that is how they are classified and placed under one class. It is a further, it is further divided into one or more orders. Then order is classified between family and class. And then family is classified for them to divide it into subfamilies. I have shown only the family of the mosquito, but it has an order. It has a class for you go up and up. And then genus. After family comes the genus. But we sometimes intermix the terminology. We say the human family. We say human genus. We say human uh, uh, species. But they have a specific technical meaning. Then comes what is the uh, genus? Genus is plural of general. It refers to group of closely related species. When we say Homo erectus, Homo habilis, they were all, they all belong to one species. These, uh, they, and they belong to a group of species. They have a common ancestor. This is the science that how they have made, uh, I mean, try to understand it. It's just an attempt. These are theories. We are not discussing, uh, I mean, anything uh, 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 as, as a religion. For example, I've quoted a quote, ayat, uh, an ayat 
I don't, and it does not mean that this is a translation in biology or biology is the translation of that diet. I'm just saying that diet provides us a pointation that gives us an indicator to further understand, try to understand, conduct research. It's not, uh, a theory of evolution is not a faith. It is not a religion. It is just an attempt to understand the worldly things, the physical things, the phenomena of nature. And we are referring in order to make them clear, uh, uh, to, to relate, we are just referring to certain ayat that yes, there are certain pointations in the revelation of God also. Maybe that pointation belongs to this thing. Over time, Groups of organisms in genus, in general, adopted to slightly different ways of life. There were different ways of life. Homo erectus behaved differently from Homo habilis. They behaved differently from Homo sapiens. And they formed different species. And all these, were, uh, as a group, they came to form a different species which can be distinguished as a separate, for example, human species, they can be understood, they can be differentiated from chimpanzees uh, on the basis of their habits and the basis of their phenotype. But when the science of genetics has come, we are now able to differentiate on the basis of uh, the differences in the genes, in the genome. A species in biology is largest group of organisms, human beings as a species, is a very large group of organisms in which any two individuals of appropriate sexes are mating, our types can produce fertile offspring by reproduction. What does that mean? It means that a species is a very big group. A species includes Homo sapiens. It includes Homo habilis, it includes Homo erectus, and so on and on up to orangutans. Now, all these have the capacity to interbreed. A species interbreed within themselves, but they cannot reproduce, they cannot interbreed outside the species. Human being cannot reproduce outside the human beings with the animals. This is the theory of evolution as it has developed from the days of Darwin. Darwin did not say everything. He just placed the things in sequence. It is basic unit of classification, species, and taxonomic rank of organism, as well as unit of biodiversity. Species share common ancestor. This is the theory. Now, if anybody wants to deny this, reject this, then he will have to reject that these are not species. They don't belong to one species. They don't belong to one group. And there are no species. There are no species. They don't belong to any order, uh, to class. And there is no family. There is no order. There is no phylum and then he has to deny everything. Now, taxonomy is a study of relationships, relationship between family, relationship between family and order, order and classification, like a class, and so on. A study of relationships between living things and classification of organisms into groups, based on hypothesized, theorized theories, theories of relationships. These are theories. You can discuss a theory, you can prove a theory wrong, but it's not that we can deny the entire process of evolution, which is taking place. But if we have to reject it, then we have to bring our own model now, it's not, it has not originated from the domain. It has not to the, come to the kingdom. There's no folk about the uh, folk. 
बहुजत फ्रांसफो का वी हैव टू देन स्टेप वाइज डिनाय एवरी थिंग बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू करेक्ट अ थ्यूरी वी कैन करेक्ट अ पर्टिकुलर थ्यूरी ए थ्यूरी विच इज डीलिंग विथ ए पर्टिकुलर आस्पेक्ट ऑफ स्पीसीज वी कैन डिनाय अ थ्यूरी करेक्ट अ थ्यूरी इफ यू रिजेक्ट अ थ्यूरी देन वी हैव टू सजेस्ट अ करेक्शन दैन वॉट इज द करेक्शन एट वॉट पॉइंट वी वॉन्ट टू मेक द करेक्शन वेन आइंस्टीन रिजेक्टेड द थ्यूरी ऑफ न्यूटन he then improved it he suggested a correction he gave a new formula and when planck rejected it he gave a new formula this is how the science and philosophy has developed in the world but why we are simply a heap of bricks because we have not connected brick with the brick to build the whole philosophy of religion the whole philosophy with the religion has given we just reject a person we reject a theory without connecting and drawing the straw improving it so that we can build a build, uh, we can uh, build an uh, build an edifice then organisms are classified based on their similarities and uh, differences we have to systematically deny or reject it human taxonomy human taxonomy now we are talking of human taxonomy is the classification of human species human species is a very vast subject human species within zoological taxonomy systematically the genus to which human beings belong after that is the homo what is the genus homo systematically genus what is that genus homo homo net homo habilis homo it is homo it is called homo is grouped both anatomically modern human beings today we and the extinct variety varieties homo uh, uh, homo habilis they are all these two things today's modern man and those who have vanished over millions of years they both are grouped under homo as a genus and the emergence of earliest modern humans homo sapiens there is a complete ladder around 300000 ka means 300 it means 1000 300000 years ago this happened but we have a history of adam about 10 years but according to the bible according to genesis it is about 5700 years these are rewritten written afterwards since introduction of systematic study of 18th century darwin when he gave the idea now this science has developed knowledge of human evolution has increased and number of intermediate taxa have been proposed since then now these taxa which i have shown you <coughs> starting from life domain kingdom phylum and then coming up to species this is not final this is not law this is changing every time new texts are being added are deleted corrections are being made these are theories but these theories have luckily helped us they have helped us it means they are somehow somehow nearer to the reality nearer to the truth that they have helped us to understand the creation the human biology and have they they have brought us to the level of genetics because a brick has been uh, placed with the brick and the whole structure has been created they have not thrown bricks as a heap they have developed brick upon brick they have built a edifice if at one place they find the brick is not fitting they have removed it they have fixed another brick but they have developed the edifice and then new texts are added 
most widely accepted taxonomy grouping text genus Homo, genus as Homo, Homo genus Homo, as organizing between two to three million years ago. Khalakal insana min trabin, khalakal insana min teen, khalakal insana min salalatan min teen, and leaving many things in between. Min, min, min. Every word in Quran is important. Don't miss min. Khalakal insana min, min trabin, khalakal insana min, min teen. Physical, material, share. Nothing can come into be, being, becoming a shay unless it is in the Shah of Allah. From Shah, Allah brought, created these things, things. And then from one thing, min, another thing. Min from that thing, another thing. Min turabin, min teen, it is thing. Min ultimately coming to the baby, fetus, ijlin. Ijlin is a thing. Turabin is a thing. Teen is a thing. If we say ajalin, then it doesn't remain a thing. It becomes just a haste. Haste is not a thing. It says min ijlin, min turabin, min nutfatin, min ijlin, and then ultimately it became a human being. It is born as a human being. He was developed ultimately as a mammal in a kabad, fi kabad, in lakad khalakal insana fi kabad. It is not given um, I mean, through, uh, it is not born, reproduced through a, uh, asexual reproduction system or uh, through eggs. It is mammalian. It is produced within kabat, fi kabat. It is mammalian reproduction. About It took place about two to three million years ago and divided into at least two into two archaic species. Homo erectus, that these are the last two, Homo erectus and Homo sapiens. And from this interbreeding, Adam was created, and from this interbreeding, Hava was created, and from this selection, natural selection from of God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Adam, Ya Adam, now your uh, hominid life, cave's life is over, your habilis life, jungle is over of your ancestors, of your forefathers. Now you live in this garden, this jannat I have made for you. I have arranged for your food. Uskun. Anta was all you call jannat. Now you live in this jannat and don't go out in uh, uh, your, your jungle life, your cave life, your ancestors life is now over. Now I'm giving you a new life, a social life, because I have upgraded you. This upgradation has taken place from these species. Among the homo humans then, we, uh, what is the folk? The word folk mentioned along with Bauzatan, folk, what is folk? Now these things, same thing applies to the human beings also. Systematic classification. Human being is here. Genus is homo. This homo belongs to the tribe homini and that belongs to the subfamily hominai and that belongs to the family homendai and that belongs to the uh, 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 order, suborder, infraorder, suborder, order and that belongs to the class mammalia. Vavalidim mama valad, two to three million years ago. And that belongs to the phylum. We belong to the phylum Chordata. This is all going folk, folk, animalia, kingdom, animal kingdom. Then the domain. I have shown you Eucaratia. You, uh, 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 Yuka Ryota. <coughs> we belong to that domain. I have shown you that there is a three branches of the domain. Bacteria, Archaea, and Yuka Ryota. Uh, uh, we have come from this domain, from the domain which I showed you on the right side. We have come from that domain and we came to this animal kingdom. We came to this phylum. We came to this class of mammalia. We came to this order, to this family, to this 
uh, I mean, tribe, we came to this genus Homo, and from Homo genus Homo, we have come to the present days. And now, why here it is mentioned Linus, not Darwin? Darwin gave a theory, but this Linus, this person, he was the person who pointed out that human beings belong to this Homo. And then there are types of species, sapiens, and then within that, these are different types of Homo, which are belong to one I mean, species, and they were interbreeding. They were interbreeding. Ultimately, they created a more, much more developed version, and from that, Adam was upgraded. Now, these are the references. Now, comparative table of Homo lineages. If you want to see that, if you go to this place, if you like, I can show you right now. Comparative tab table of Homo lineages is a very vast study, comparative table. Now, coming back to Darwin. Now, we are coming back to Darwin because we are concentrating more on Darwin. He was the person who is the foundation of theory of uh, evolution. His theory has completely changed. We are discussing different things. But we are now, since we are focusing on his theory, he provided the foundation. We are coming back to that. All existing creatures, he argued, descended from a small number of original or progenitor species. And this, what has been discussed, this shows that, yes, Darwin compared the history of life to a great tree. In the beginning, I showed you three trees of the domain, three trees. These have developed afterwards. These were not there at his time. This is a further development. His trunk representing these few common ancestors and an extensive system of branches and twigs symbolizing the great variety of life that has evolved from then. And then what are the main points summarizing? What are the main points of Darwin? It is competition. It is through competition. Even the competition takes place among the spermatozoa. When male and female join and copulate, and there is the conception, how the conception takes place, the male releases spermatozoa. And they are in millions. Woman releases an ovum. And though there's a competition for survival of the fittest, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that I select the best. And who is the best among those? from among those millions of spermatozoa fertilizes the ovum. So there's a competition in nature. And then there's an adaptation. Adaptation is a process which continuously goes on and it has been studied, it has been seen in all the animals, in all the plants, in everything it has been seen. If somebody wants to deny, then we, he will have to deny the competition he will have to deny the adaptation. This is what he pointed out. Then as a result of that, variation takes place. Change, uh, changes take place within the genes. When the changes take place within the genes, then the changes take place within the home, within the genome. When the changes take place within the genome, the changes take place within the entity. Then overproduction. This is one of the principles that population in the beginning I had shown that they must produce more than what is required. Spermatozoa must be produced more than what is required. Men must be produced more because they are required. They die more. Natural death more. Accidents more. Diseases more. Heart attacks more. Life span is less. Lesser than the female lifespan. There are wars. It's a natural selection. They, they must reproduce more. A specific speciation. A speciation. So then, when all these things take place, then as a scientific process, these four things together, they create an species. That creates speciation. 
and they become a species, separate species, distinct species, then they don't interbreed, they can't interbreed with other species. It is in the nature to create a barrier. It is in the nature, in the nature of a sociology that people live together. You will see that most of the races live together. Most of the colors live together. Most of the cultures they form and live together. They come together. Same is the principle which is working in biology also. The biological principle is working here also. And I have been saying that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions physical sciences, along with those physical sciences, he mentions social sciences also. And they have relationship. They have relationship. Now, principles of evolution, what are the principles of evolution which he has mentioned? I have given the main points. And within that, now what are the main principles which he has given? If you want to deny, we'll have to deny these things. No, no, these are not the principles of evolution. What principles he has given? Variation, inheritance, son, daughter, inherits from the parents. Genes inherit from genes. Inheritance, selection. There is a process of selection. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I select. And time, it takes time. It is over a period of time. Our components of evolutionary mechanism. Takhliq is a process. Evolution is a process. And it takes process. The, the process takes place over time. And it has these components. And then this is totally called as a process of natural selection, which is the process of human evolution, all evolution. Evolutionary species concept. Evolutionary, he gave the evolutionary concept of uh, uh, um, an evolutionary species concept. That the species evolve. He gave this concept. Evolutionary species is a single lineage ancestor descendant populations of organisms which maintains its identity from other such lineages in space and time and which has its own evolutionary tendencies and historical fate. That these species, once they speciate, they form an species, they remain, they maintain their identity uh, in the line of their ancestor. In that line, they maintain the similarities, but they distinguish themselves from other species and they maintain that barrier. This is the philosophy. This is the theory. This is the theory. And it seemed to be in clear opposition to the idea that all creatures had been created according to their kind. Bible said that here now the science, scientists say that th when this theory was given, this was totally against the religious theory. What was the religious theory? The religious theory was according to that theory, everything was created according to their kind. Shakilate, fi shakilate, Allah shakilate was created in its own kind. But when we study in the light of Quran, it does not contradict. It confirms the pointation of Quran. Everything has been created, Allah shakilate. But here, the scientists then said they have not read the Quran. They say it is in contradiction. And then, what is the biblical account? What the Bible says? Today, I have taken uh, about uh, 45 minutes. So, I think I stop here. This, what the Bible says, what the scripture says, what the Quran says, then we will, inshallah, Allah willing, if Allah likes, we will start this from next uh, I mean, uh, week, inshallah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzat, amma yusifun, wa salamun ala al-mursaleen, wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi. Allahumma hadina fi man hadaytu, afina fi man afaytu, wa tawallana fi man tawallaytu. وبارك اللهم لنا فيما أعطيت وقينا واصرف عنا شر ما قضيت اللهم ادخلنا برحمتك في عبادك الصالحين اللهم اخرجنا من ظلمات الجهل والوهم إلى نور العلم 
اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما اللهم اجعلنا ممن يستمعون القول فيتبعون احسنه اللهم بفضلك ورحمتك على كلمه الحق والدين اللهم انصر الاسلام وعز المسلمين يا اكرم الاكرمين او الله spread your mercy upon us <coughs> shower us with your blessings increase our knowledge grant us forgiveness and reward us with the company of the prophets in the firdaus al Oh Allah, forgive our parents and all our friends and relatives who have passed away. Oh Allah, make their graves a garden from heaven and grant them the firdaus al-a'la. Oh Allah, we have many of our friends and relatives who are sick. Oh Allah, we have our son Maharaj, our daughter Aisha Wani and many others. Oh Allah, grant all of them full and speedy recovery. Oh Allah, we know that there is no cure but yours. Oh Allah, grant them a cure that leaves no ailment or injury. O oh Allah, guide our children, protect them, and make them righteous. O oh Allah, we have many of our brethren in Palestine and many other parts of the world who are facing barbaric enemy, unjust world, and complacent Muslim nations. O oh Allah, grant them victory, heal their trauma, protect the helpless, fulfill their needs. O oh Allah, remove their suffering and grant them peace and prosperity. O oh Allah, we ask you every name you have elected for yourself, that none of us leave this gathering, but his pains have been relieved, his worries have been removed, his debts have been paid, his weaknesses have been concealed, his sins have been forgiven, and his needs have been fulfilled. Subhanallah wa bihamdih, adada khalqihu wa rida nafsihu wa zinata arshihu wa midada kalimatih. Subhanallah wa bihamdih, adada khalqihu wa rida nafsihu wa zinata arshihu wa midada kalimatih. سبحان الله وبحمده عدد خلقه ورضا نفسه وزنة عرشه ومداد كلماته والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خير المرسلين اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته okay.